Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and for my new subscribers. I'm glad you're joining us. My name is Yvonne. In today's video I'm going to work on uh, some pages in my softcover journal, my personal journal. And if you saw my last video, uh, I thought I would uh, get more pages done, but then the last page was a bit more. Uh, work and I don't want to make the videos too long so I divided them up and this is what I'm going to use and I have marked the pages I want to work on. We'll start with the easiest one. Ah, it's stuck to two pages. Uh, in the beginning I did uh, some spread just on one side and yeah, now I'm trying to fill the pages that are left on the other side because uh, lately I always do two pages at one time. So this is what I'm going to be working on. And I wanted to keep it really simple because I have some beautiful ephemera I made uh, yeah, some time ago and I selected the items that I think will go very well in, uh, in this journal and the colors I really like. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to put this aside because that's for another page. And this is what I'm going to use now. This I made earlier, the card, and I really love it. And I'm going, just because I love <laughs> vintage music paper and I always have trouble to cover up uh, beautiful vintage papers. So I'm going to position it in the middle and this will be a pocket for uh, my journaling because on this I journaled uh, before about the video I made, how I made this card. I made a video about it. So I'm just going to stick this down here. I already put some double-sided tape on it but I thought it will be nice if something is uh, coming uh, out of the back, or uh, out of the top. I don't have much uh, sticking out and I do like it. So it's just a bit. So I'm going to put a hole in the middle. A bit eyeballing it. And then I want to use some uh, eyelet uh, trim. This is with a bit of glitter in it. I didn't know when I ordered it, but yeah, it's okay, but it wasn't necessary. I would have rather had it uh, that it didn't have the, the bling. Mm, I wanted double, so. Let's see how I'm going to do that. And I dyed this because I, when I bought it, it was just uh, plain. And I dyed it green with uh, distress oxides. I want it a bit thicker and fluffier, so I doubled it up. And now it's losing all, all hairs. Oh, and I still have to uh, buy some uh, fray stuff for uh, for the cover because it uh, it keeps fraying, and I don't mind if it does a bit, but uh, it doesn't have to be <laughs> as much because. Yeah, there won't be fabric left. It, it can't uh, fray any further because I stitched, of course, stitched it with a zigzag, but I want some uh, fabric on top. So, I'm gonna get rid of the threads. And I thought I, I'm going to tie a bow with this uh, really soft yarn. And then this will be a fluffy, uh, a fluffy yarn sticking out. Let's see if it 
I have enough. Maybe like that, it won't interfere. It's always so fiddly making a bow and then on camera also. You don't really see see that it's a bow because it's uh, yeah I don't know what it's it's not a, a very straight uh, thread. It's just for uh, some extra in texture and interest. I don't want the strings too long because I don't want them hanging over the picture. Get the hairs a bit out of the way. See, it's uh, it really curls up, but it gives a bit of interest uh, like that, and then this will fluff like a fountain. And I don't know why uh, some edges curl up like this, and some stay straight. Well, that makes it a bit interesting. Let's see where I want this on the page. And now the double sided tape is ideal. I didn't uh, put it on the rounded edges because it's not necessary. My uh, journaling won't fall out or anything. Well, I hope I can remove this double-sided tape. I think I'm going to remove it completely because this, of course, will otherwise interfere. Thread sticking everywhere. <laughs> it's a bit in an angle. Like that. Yeah. Now I can remove the tape. And it's easily stuck down. Press it. Now this is sticking out a bit of the journal and this on top. I really like that. Yep. And I see this is also uh, fraying. So over time <laughs> we'll see what happens. And now it's a double page that coordinates uh, with each other. I love the image, it's such a sweet girl. Adorable, really. And now this, the, the sides, both sides of the uh, signatures. And then all the threads. And here I had in mind, because here is already the lace, but exactly on the on the same spot, it's not really uh, an option. But I don't yeah, I don't mind that the lace will be a bit more down because I don't want to cover her face. And now there will be lace here and lace on the paper there, because if it comes too high, it it interferes with the corner I uh, stitched down. So I'm just going to um, put it a bit uh, a bit down. Like that. And 
Yeah, I think I'll stick down a complete part of this so that it adheres well. It's pretty sturdy lace. Mm. It's maybe nicer if I do the, that on this side because then if I maybe I can stretch it. Yeah, I'm going to start here because I like the eye goes to this side, not to this side. And I want to start with a complete uh, complete image of the of the lace. About here. Yeah. Fabric glue. Let's see if I have the right way up. Yes. And I hope that uh, that will be enough to hold the card. Great. And the red one, it's coming through the, the lace, of course. That's on here. Okay. That seems to be fine. And maybe I'll just leave it for a bit. I'm going to uh, put a clip on here and then we're going to work on the other side and this will have some time to um, no, it's not helping and this can set up a bit and then maybe i can uh, really tighten it a bit more yeah we'll leave that and here i want to uh, this can go. I want to use uh, the book pages. I have a video. Uh, oh no, no, no. I don't. No, I didn't do this on video. No, I posted it on my Instagram. The book pages I did uh, with texture paste. Uh, only this is a drywall speckle. I didn't use uh, texture, texture paste because I don't have it. And uh, at the house of my daughter, we were uh, speckling walls and we had a lot left. So I thought I can, uh, I can try that. I saw a video of Ruby and Pearl and she explains and shows it very, very good. And uh, I tried it multiple times and I didn't succeed. And after I saw her video, I'll try to find it and link it down below because after that video, every uh, thing I made succeeded. It's, I don't know why. <laughs> I don't feel that I did something differently now, but yeah, no, it, it went well. Uh, let's see how I wanted this. I want some lace down here. Double. Let's see. I don't want to cover up too much of this. And this has a strange. Uh, yeah, it's not really picking up. This uh, top part, it, it it seems brown. It's it's not nice. <laughs> so this lace I'm going to stick uh, on the back. Let's see what. Is the correct way? It seems like there was sticky tape on on here, and now it isn't anymore. See, it's brown. It's really weird. Um, I want a bit. I just want a small 
I do. I just need a small uh, layer of glue, so I'm going to take my art glitter glue because it's in the in the fine tip bottle, and then it's uh, a bit more easy to um, apply. This back side of uh, of this tag, I uh, I used up uh, cardstock. I still had scrapbooking paper as I had, and uh, yeah, this was also a color that was neutral and um, also uh, went well with the design on the front. So I thought I'll use that up because I have so many papers. But now I'm going to uh, use it as a tuck spot, but originally I thought if I want uh, to use this card for journaling, I have something beautiful on the, on the back and I didn't uh, have to glue something on there. And now I don't mind that the brown is showing because I won't see it. Now the blue. I want that on top. Let's see if there is a right way or a wrong way. Not very visible. I always like to start with a complete image. But now I think it's more beautiful if it's like blocks. So if I start, this is a complete flower, and this is the complete, you see the, yeah, a bit triangle. But it's nicer if the triangle is in the middle of the flowers. That's, yeah, a bit visible. So I'm going to stick it like that. And so I need just a tiny bit. I hope you're all feeling uh, crafty and I hope I can inspire you to start working in your own journals, maybe start a new project. I have uh, I'm uh, also filming a uh, my tutorial series, uh, they have to be uh, posted yet, but I'm, I didn't make a prototype, so I'm, uh, I have to finish the filming making it, <laughs> and then I have, uh, then only then I can, uh, can make the pictures. Normally uh, you make something and uh, and on video you make it again, but I didn't want to do that. It's a waterfall uh, journal. I saw it uh, at a, from a couple of creators and I really liked the concept. Yeah, it's something different again, and I wanted to, to I wanted to try that. And I thought maybe I can uh, film the complete process and other people uh, can craft along, and you all you can. Or craft along if you want. And you make your own uh, waterfall journal or see how I'm doing it, <laughs> something like that. And let's see. Yeah, I just want to let it peek out a bit. And this, and then I have uh, leftovers from a digital kit I made. Uh, no, not those pages. No, it's a different page. Where is it? It's a very beautiful... Uh, oh yeah, this one. I have some leftovers and uh, I put double-sided tape on the back and now I can use them as kind of a washi tape. 
And I want this a bit, not too much, but just a bit, and that it's peeking out from beneath the, uh, the book page. Yeah, let's see about here. I don't know if I can tear it. No, it's too too thick because this is uh, thicker of paper, but I don't I didn't want to throw it away. Um, it makes a lot of noise. Yeah. Because you can uh, yeah make the full washi in any thickness of paper. You can. It's also very beautiful uh, with vellum or uh, transparency paper. And um, and just normal copy paper. But yeah, this uh, this was left over uh, from the flower borders, and I wanted that. Uh, with thicker paper. And now we're using up all the scraps. Going to the side. And now this can go up here, like this. Have to watch my head is constantly in the way in the camera. <laughs> my hair sticking all over the place. Maybe some glue stick will do. It's such an amazing community because everybody is so creative and you get so many ideas from everybody and uh, for your own crafting. It's really great. I never had a hobby that uh, that I love so much as uh, as this, and in a way, it's uh, it's very easy to do because you don't need much supplies. A lot you can uh, recycle and uh, and use stuff you got lying around the house. And every style you like, yeah, there are videos uh, in that style, so it's it's really great. Let's stick up a bit. I didn't ink it. I for I forgot, but but it doesn't matter. I'm going to leave it like this. And here, I have to be mindful that. I'm let it stick out because the paper is not straight. Mm. And I want some of this also peeking out here. Mm. And then start with the green. I want to. Uh, I want the rough edge of the that the trimmer makes. I really love it. Get this up a bit because I did there also. Let's see how far. Yeah, I don't need it all. Just a bit. And we can glue it down. And so we're using up all kinds of things. And still trying to use things uh, I have and not uh, keep on buying. And we have to support, of course, have to support uh, the local artists and the small businesses. That's also a good thing, but yeah. 
it goes so fast all the items uh, we collect and you have to use up some uh, some things you have or otherwise you forget you have them and it's too bad to just have them laying around it's yeah uh, I'm going to put some uh, double-sided tape on here. Uh, I don't want that showing, so I can... No, I'm going to put the double-sided tape above the lace, so I'm, I'm safe that it won't show on the other side. And this side, oh, it's gone. It's the last bit. Um, Some new tape, and I can continue. And then I'll, uh, I think I put my journaling on a beautiful letter, and it can uh, go in the back. And then everything is not. Super bulky. Let's see if I can position it okay. It's always a bit hard to see where you're going. Oh. I have no idea. I have to do it like this. Yeah. And just stick it down because otherwise I'll be here tomorrow. And all my beginning is gone. Mm -hmm. And this piece. I have to <laughs> adhere it like this. Yeah, now it's it seems a bit crooked, but well, a challenge for the for my perfectionism. Yeah, really like it, and then another journaling card or a letter can go in there and because I didn't really like this I wanted something more uh, I wanted that a bit more here that it's overlapping the the tape also well, I can use my glue stick I don't know if it's uh, from the warmth, but the uh, glue stick is very, uh, very smooshy, very, um, yeah, thin. Just a bit peeking out for some extra interest. And I can stick that down again. I hope the tape still sticks. 
and I had a little word sentiment on them. I'm going to put it on here. Really blobs sticking to it. Just for some added interest. Yeah. It's sticking up a bit. I'm going to try to crumble it a bit. It's all book page, so it will fold and uh, tear easily. And that's this page. And let's see how this is sticking. Yeah, you see it wrinkling a bit on this side, but I don't mind. That's here. Let's see. Yeah, I don't want to stretch it too much because otherwise it will take up the, the page. Um, let's see how this fits. Yeah, I have to I can't uh, stick this completely down. It has to be half half. Let's see how far I can go. Mm. Yeah, I have to trim this a bit. About half. And then Textile glue. I'm going to uh, put glue on uh, on a bit more than this half of the design, but not completely half on this side. I think that will be enough. Oh. Luckily, because this is bulkier, of course, the, the lace, but here in the middle of the new signature, there's lots of room, and it's because it's a soft cover, it can uh, it can handle uh, a bit more. And gently going to try to on oh, here is the same uh, scrapbooking paper on the back and I can journal on it and everything I have more to, to tell uh, I can also uh, put behind the tag I have some beautiful uh, note papers note cards and uh, letter papers that I can use and these are the pages so I'm very good in time. I'm happy with that. <laughs> it's not always a mega long uh, video. I hope you uh, you got inspired and maybe got some ideas to use in your own journal. And as always, thanks so much for watching and supporting my channel. If you like this video, I would love a like, a comment, and uh, maybe you can subscribe. And uh, I will see you next time. Bye!